Hello, my name is Boyan Yorganov. Um, uh, Bill Consulting, as part of Sustain Group, is uh, hosting our next uh, event. Are you finding, finding the right information at the right moment? And our precious guest is Nejla Gil from uh, DG Software uh, in Turkey. We started uh, its more than one year already partnership and Nejla is uh, helping us uh, to find and retain customers. I did a little presentation, so I will um, share it. You see it on, on the screen? Yeah. So uh, Nejla Gil from uh, DG Software and Boyan Yordanov. We have double the... So System Group, uh, we are a partnership, but not official legal entity of three companies. One in hum Hungary, uh, headed by Damian Dockery. He's our supply chain expert and operations management. Emilian, he's a coach and HR specialist. And uh, we have also purely IT and totally nothing to do with IT projects with him. And myself, Boyan Yordanov, uh, I'm uh, uh, owner and uh, managing director of BL Consulting. So uh, I will give a word to Nejla to um, say a couple of words about Degia software. Nejla, please. So thank you, first of all, Liboyan, for hosting this event. It is my pleasure to be today here. And thank you, dear guests, for taking part participation. Uh, I believe this is something um, that will be applicable to your institutions and something that you will get the benefit from sparing your time here. So uh, as Boyan said, my name is Najla, and I'm working as an international channel manager in DC Software. So who we are actually, uh, so we are a Turkish software house. Uh, we are offering innovative solutions for those who want to go digitalize or want to protect their data better digitalizing it. So we uh, actually were developed like eight years ago. Now we are having partners all around the world and trying to integrate and localize in each environment. And, um, we have like different kind of solutions, unique solutions that uh, I would like to say. So we help you to consolidate, consolidate all of your data, to discover all of your data, to be aware of the most important assets uh, in your process, uh, such as the data and the importance of the data. Uh, we help you to comply with GDPR, HIPAA, PII, or any other local regulations uh, that it comes to your mind. Uh, and then we do one more step in data protection, which is um, data classification. So we uh, do all of the pre-preparation uh, to, to be sure that the information is not leaking, the information is secured, it's stamped, it's tagged. And then the rest is uh, to our uh, other solutions. So I believe that would be all from for this part. Uh, I'll be mm -hmm. uh, happy to be followed by the Boyan and then to see <laughs> how the conversation brings it. Thank you, Nedla. Thank you. It's a, it's a beautiful company and uh, wonderful solutions that you have uh, as per our experience as well. Uh, for the topic of today, uh, we can start some uh, like open discussion. Uh, some facts about searching information. Uh, everybody, it's in the humans, has his own like system how to find information, where to store it, what to do with it, and to find the easy way. Normally, it's a brain patterns. I put the files in folders. I put this here. So next time you will be able to, to find your information. Uh, I checked quickly Google, and then it came to, uh, this is a, a publishing from uh, IBM. 
Um, they say that the, according to McKinsey, 1.8 hours or nine hours per week on average, employees spent in searching, not finding, but in searching something. So if it's uh, then also, this is uh, something else from another source. 20%, so it's maybe one day, more or less the same, overlapping different. Uh, one day, it's a waste of time uh, per week. Well, not waste, but people spend time in finding information. Okay. What, uh, curiously, I found is that, uh, for example, it happens that even if you have a CRM system, where the data is more or less structured, at some moment, maybe you, you also don't find everything. For example, in many CRM systems, you can attach a document. Maybe you can find the title, but what is inside, it's missing. You, 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 the CRM is not indexing the content of the, the, the emails of the, or of the attached emails, let, information. And, very often we have uh, such questions from uh, clients that have, or we have projects with them with the CRM. Okay, can we now do something about uh, indexing the attached documents? On many CRM systems, for example, like SuperOffice, they have quick solution. They integrate it with SharePoint. So when you put document, it goes to the SharePoint. And then uh, using the capability of SharePoint on OneDrive, it also indexes. So it helps to, to find information, but this is a solution between the CRM and SharePoint. Mm -hmm. What about when you just get an email somewhere else, <laughs> but really connected? What about the ERP system? What about other solutions that may have, let's say you have a production or something else, and then finding information really, first you need to organize different like silos to put them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> then you need on each of it to uh, structure the information. So, uh, and to uh, set a, a security levels, who has access and who does not have access to. Mm -hmm. So this is something that uh, uh, is the is uh, is a pain because you have many systems and information is located on different types. Very often, for example, in manufacturing companies, uh, okay, salespeople they prepare quotations, they have pictures, etc. But then they need to go to the engineers, so they need to uh, design something. But happens that you cannot attach uh, uh, <laughs> a, a CAD document to your CRM for some reason, or, is it, or it is a huge, so you cannot really work with it. So this is, uh, and nowadays in the organizations, they have, you have plenty of systems to, to, with different sources of information, databases, some cloud, some on-premise. And um, actually, I remember uh, it's already retired product. It was called Google Desktop. I don't know, somebody heard about it uh, from the audience? It, it's a small program from Google. You were able to install it and then it was searching the whole your hard drive, all your emails. And uh, also on the, you were able to point to some like internet to, to search mm -hmm. together with search. So it was like, you make a small like search server and you were able to find the documents. And then <laughs> the thing is, it was easy to structure, to make different filters. And in search of replacement of it, in fact, there was nothing available. So in Windows, the, the regular search is searching documents and maybe making such index, but not the emails, not uh, 
Um, this is how actually by searching myself information about how to improve the search, I found the, um, uh, the solution that uh, later after I found the uh, software, uh -huh. we become partners. So uh, I want before showing what uh, Geodi uh, is offering for searching, to ask uh, from the audience uh, if uh, you want to share, do you have like a solution to search, to index information that is uh, like, uh, it could be like SharePoint, uh, Google documents, uh, how, how you search, uh, maybe Chardar or Yusuf, if they want to, or someone who wants to share how he's organizing. Uh, very often people really just keep a, a structure with the files to put even in the emails you have folders subfolders and uh, making uh, such uh, anybody wants to uh, to share his experience how he's uh, he she or she is uh, searching for the information uh, I I will help you so Thank you. I, I I have uh, any special arrangement according to the process of the company, and uh, the files are there. But uh, nevertheless, this I lose. I'm I'm losing information and file. Uh, now I'm uh, I I'm searching for one and uh, can't find it. So you, you have the same problem that uh, you put yeah, something yeah. somewhere and then you can't find it. And... I, mm, I'm I I search uh, by Windows, of course. Windows help. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, this is Windows has an indexing service. So when you turn it on it starts scanning the documents and it really helps to search across uh, folders, subfolders. Also, it finds but the you need to know exactly the title that you are searching for. Yes, you, you, you cannot, let's say, well, there is like a searching with questions, marks and such things, but it's pretty tricky to, to find it as well. To, and uh, thank you for, for sharing. Maybe you can say a couple of words about yourself, uh, Chadar, uh, or your business, what you do. I'm a strategy in general management speci specialist, and uh, of course, I'm founder and uh, CEO of the business model design company, mm -hmm. which main Consulting uh, specialization is the same strategy in general management. So I have different uh, strategies made for myself because I I use all theory and instruments only like knowledge. Mm -hmm. I refuse to use it copy paste. <laughs> that's that's is uh, distinct. So you, you produce a lot of documents as well for the customers, um, you document. So usually we, we make uh, um, uh, so, uh, when I have a project, uh, we, I, I have to make the uh, reports and uh, Mm, diary of the project, of course, too. And uh, uh, usually we make uh, um, a guide um, how the uh, uh, our customer how to uh, to to govern its uh, functionality and so on. So we have doc documents. We firstly. 
we have uh, contracts and negotiation offers. Mm -hmm. After that, uh, we're starting to uh, to looking for solutions and so on. And every uh, every session, every meeting. And what? So actually, you. Your information mostly structured like in Excel and Word documents, correct? Or yeah, yeah. Okay. Most. So most and PDF, of course. Say. Very good. Thank you. Thank you for your or mind maps, for example. <laughs> so I will uh, give a word to um, Nejla. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe the next slide uh, briefly to show. Uh, this is the first thing that caught my attention is the enterprise search. When I was uh, uh, actually our first contact with Dega Software was. So because uh, at the moment I found it, it was really a good complementary to the CRM solutions that we were providing to customers. Mm -hmm. So people wanted to, to stay on one CRM, but to be able to find practically everywhere. Mm -hmm. But I, I trust that Nejla is much better to, to explain. Uh, Nejla, if you want uh, to share something, or we can just, uh, or you can just speak, or I can point mm -hmm. to the your website too. Mm -hmm. uh, no problem. I mean, uh, later I can, if you would like, I can share you the demo. Mm -hmm. But what I would like to say that uh, really, uh, if I'm starting from myself. So if I enter in the new job, I'm trying to be very organized. I'm writing everything down. I have like different clusters, folders for each thing. And then within a time, how I'm in the lack of the time, I'm getting confused and just saving documents where, where it's safe by automatization. So I believe that majority of the people is messy as me when it comes to their desktops. Uh, that's why I really find the enterprise search uh, something that is, that is saving my time in the beginning. So what actually solution do it is first of all, it is unique solution. You cannot find this solution anywhere. Um, so what we actually do, we allowed our customers to connect all of their data sources, databases, file servers, personal computers, emails, social media, CRMs. So wherever the data is storage can be connected to the GS. And by consolidating all of these data storages and all of these data sources, you actually create, as we like to say, internal Google for your company. So, uh, the, of course, doing this one, we use artificial intelligence and natural language processing. That's why finding the information with GeoD takes you just a couple of seconds, milliseconds, let's say, 0.14, I think, is the average source. So if uh, it is maybe easy or it takes less of the time to find document that you that is still fresh in your mind. But what about finding the information that happened two years ago? What about finding the contract that you remember was in Bulgaria with Boyan, but for who it was? What was the money? You don't remember. So this is where the GOD comes. So you simply, it has a semantic data search so no matter how you write your query, it will bring you to the information. It will bring you to the document that consists of that. And then when we talk about this one, uh, generally they ask us partners like, who are the verticals? Who are the potential customers? Who should we sell this solution? And uh, I say, really, it is the need of every company who is dealing with the documentation. So if we have, 20 employees, everyone is dealing with different, producing different documentation. It is not possible for me from sales to be aware of every technical document or every technical agreement that's coming. I mean, there is no need. And of course, if they don't share it in the like um, file server in the um, common place. So that's why <clears throat> this solution is really a must have, I would like for each company. 
uh, you shared statistics, but also by the Gartner, Gartner said that 40% uh, uh, is the search time. Wow. Uh, yeah. I, 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 sorry for interrupting, yeah. but in the beginning of my career, I started working for the Office of European Bank for Reconstruction and Development in Sofia. Mm -hmm. um, there, I was still a student as well. So I, they asked me to prepare a documentation archive system. Mm -hmm. So I did a, a little program in uh, Microsoft Access, mm -hmm. so database. So I had like title, little description, some classification. And the reason they had a problem because sometimes the boss was saying, I want a memo from our meeting last year and I highlighted with a green uh, marker on. <laughs> and this was <laughs> suddenly you see everybody in the office starts and opens the drawers for searching these yeah. documents. <laughs> yeah. So it's something that, in fact, you, you describe. <laughs> yeah. This case. So it was more than 40 times of the time to search for this paper. And then he said, oh no, it was not green, it was maybe brown. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, it, 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 it is uh, the, I mean, still in the countries that they are developing, that we still don't have digitalized archive, especially it is a problem. So that's why this um, helps you to to make your own library of the documents, you know. And what is the best is everything on your premises. No one is taking your data and no one is copying your data. No one is changing your data. And on top of it, you know, what is also concern of the of customer is like, okay, but uh, human, research, uh, human research department is not allowed uh, to see business contracts, for example, or, Salespeople are not allowed to see um, employee contracts. People. Yes, employee contracts, et cetera. And uh, the geo divorce on, like, we take the LDAPs for authorization levels from your natural environment. So, whoever is not able to see some document in normal environment, he will also not be able to see it in geo. You know, and uh, that is the beauty of it, really, that you can, you can set your own rules. It is so user friendly. Uh, it can be customized by your wishes. You can take the best of it because, as I said, you can teach the system. Uh, same as you are raising the child, you know, how much you are giving it, that much you can take it at the end. So it is really the, um, open for the changes, open for any uh, kind of food that you are giving. So we also have our own OCR system. So that is working on different languages. Mm -hmm. It gives you all of these capabilities to scan, doc, to make documents Visual. readable, searchable. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So to, to make it easier to understand, in fact, Geodi, it connects to your data where it is. And then it checks like different uh, files. So, so mm -hmm. uh, it, it's a tool that links to the data. Mm -hmm. it is so you don't have to change the way you store the information yeah. correct yes for sure and this it doesn't matter because mm -hmm. if you introduce a new system to the office mm -hmm. you don't have to push people to change their let's say way of working no. much but you give them a tool to easily find whatever they they have to so sure. a, you can think as an octopus you know <laughs> uh wherever the hands touch it it can feed it so that is the head is one it is just spreading its uh, hands all over the part that you are giving him and feeding the system and showing mm -hmm. you the displaying you everything and as i said you know um it is easy to find document in the structured data you know everything is in table well, but uh, what about the pdf what about the uh, AutoCAD drawings? What about A0 urban plans? I mean, how to find, how to read? Them? So that is where the GOD comes. That, it, that is the reason actually why it is your best friend in a field. Mm -hmm. Because imagine that you are municipality and you have every year some new urban plans. 
And you don't, you are not aware 10 years ago what was planned there. So what it actually gives you, all of these urban plans can be displayed in the map. So we have this also patent solution for the map. So no matter like if there's any information regarding to the geography, Geody automatically creates tag in the map. It shows you how is the, what is the drawing of this particular project? Uh, where it is standing for, in which country, in which city, in which parcel. So it gives you an access to check, for example, previous versions, similar versions. Where is the intersection of two projects? So if we are, for example, if the city is planning to make a new railway and there is also a plan for new building, and what if these two are uh, intersecting? You know, we don't want to deal with that kind of thing. So it's really uh, like opening your eyes, let's say, and uh, showing you exactly what is the... Uh, so in addition yeah. to searching information, it actually can give you a kind of also analysis, how it was moving sure. over the time. And so it's, uh, it's not only finding, but mm -hmm. you can see the historical also more. Maybe Day. we can uh, do a little, if you have a, to make a little demo for people for to sure. see how it looks. Uh, and, for sure. uh, so something important, it, it stays with your organization or company. So you install it, no information mm -hmm. goes out. Mm -hmm. it, uh, it keeps the data where it is. So you don't ask mm -hmm. people to, to change their habits. So, Mm -hmm. I save my email still in my folders, mm -hmm. but it, it can be available because also my boss maybe wants to quickly find what was the correspondence mm -hmm. with somebody on uh, something mm -hmm. or mm -hmm. when I share information with somebody. So mm -hmm. maybe I should stop sharing if you mm -hmm. want to share your yeah, screen, sure. be more comfortable. So um, if you go on our website, uh, you can go here for the live projects. And uh, I will show you through this GDPR and HIMPA discovery. So we have some ready to use projects here that you can also access it, your Google, LinkedIn, Dropbox account and see the same things that I'm showing here. Mm -hmm. So basically this is the um, output. This is the, the screen interface sorry interface of this particular project uh, it can also be adopted and changed for your uh, needs i will give you a quick guide uh, what what it is about so you may check also by yourself so basically <clears throat> it says like this is the number of content uh, for this particular project it's like 2039 documents uh, there is no limitation in that sense as well so our latest customer, they just reached 250 million of the documents. Two, okay, two, 250 million of the documents, yes. So this is the municipality who is in the process of digitalization, still they are not done. And God knows how many pages, you know, it's just the document. Oh, this is the documents? <laughs> document, not document size, yes. Number of documents. So it's really closer to the Google itself. <laughs> <laughs> I'm saying to you, and you don't believe me, boy. <laughs> so nice. down, uh, you can uh, you have a timetable. You can uh, filter your search by the date as well. Here is the content. Uh, so these are the data sources that are connected to this particular uh, project. So I have like two databases and three folders. You can mm -hmm. add as much as you wish. So this is also advantage because with some similar solution, you are limited. Um, you are limited to one database and two file servers, for example. With GeoD, that is not the case. Uh -huh. uh, and moving forward, here are the layers or recognizers. So this project is also related to the discovery. So what we do is actually, I will not go into the detail just to give a brief info is just to once, yeah i mean once when you consolidate your data then we create recognizers due to the regular expressions or dictionary uh, 
uh, and Geody then automatically extracts sensitive information from your text. So without any manual enters of the metadata, it is extracting it. So if you need to comply with GDPR, PIR, if you are the bank, DCCI, so whatever is the compliances that you need to comply, uh, we include these um, recognizers and then you do discovery, take a report, it shows you what kind of information you are storing where, should you get rid of information? Do you have copy of the document? Do you have version of the document? It helps you, <coughs> it helps you to clear your data and get the big picture. We, you know, nowadays, especially like during the Corona and everything, the cyber attacks uh, rise and um, uh, worryingness about protecting data is also rise naturally. So uh, how you will know what to protect? If you don't know what you are having, so GOD helps you really to you put the consolidate. Bodyguard, you put the yes. bodyguard in front of the door. Yes. You're safe. But you are aware who is inside. You know, uh -huh. there is inside important person, and I should protect it. Sometimes we are not aware really of a leverage of the data we are storing. That's why uh, these tools helps you to discover it and be aware. Moving down forward, when it comes to the enterprise searches, that we support more than 200 document types. So all document types that are um, uh, that are generally allowed, uh, micro, uh, office documents, PDFs, images, videos, AutoCAD drawings, notepads. So where, whatever the type of the data is can be recognized by the GOD. So basically that is how it's working from this side. On the right side, here is the search box mm -hmm. uh, where we are searching your data. Here is the list it of documents. It remembers your last search is correct? Uh, no, uh, it doesn't remember your last search. What it can remember is, for example, you are interesting to find CVs, let's say. Uh, mm -hmm. And uh, for example, you would like to know all CVs. And then you can uh, save this search. Uh -huh. So you, yeah. you, you decide what are your yeah. weakness. Okay, good. Okay. So for example, if I am a human resource department manager and I want to be notified uh, for any new CV that comes to my email, to mm -hmm. my company, uh, I can create this alert. I can save it. And then every new document that comes that contains CV, uh, I will be notified by email. Look, there is new document by your alert. You can go and check. Mm -hmm. um, what you. else? Mm -hmm. No problem. I mean, I will show you also here uh, some of the capabilities just to move forward uh, to these other features. So here are the keywords. So these keywords are actually related to the recognizers. So this is some of all sensitive information that is found uh, from these data sources. But for example, if you would like to, let's say I have one document here, Troy Gillett, uh, and imagine that this is related also for the discovery or subject request request. So we mm -hmm. have in Turkey, a lot of cases here that me as a natural girl, I'm going in any institution and I'm saying, I'm wondering what kind of information you are storing about me. And they need to answer me in two weeks. Mm -hmm. How it's possible that some bank, that some municipality, that some shopping house answer me this one if they don't have such a tool? You know. It's a prerequisite for GDPR as well. Yes, for so. sure, for sure. So, uh, Simply, they type my name here, they go to the keywords, they say, look, I'm storing this information, your name, your surname, your phone number, date, uh, your email, your, I don't know what is here, mm -hmm. the, some social security number, etc. And uh, if this is a document that I'm not supposed to storage in my uh, environment, uh, you can create here, uh, you can export quarantine scripts or delete scripts and get rid of this document. Otherwise, I can sue you and I can take really nice money because you are storing this kind of information, you know. 
So people are not uh, in Turkey. They are aware they are using a lot of this, uh, and uh, that's why it's really helpful uh, solution for uh, for Turkey, uh, especially. Mm -hmm. And of course, any other country that is complying with the uh, regulations. So when it comes to the map, uh, is that uh, like um, if there is any information uh, regarded to the geographical location, as I said, it will be um, mentioned and it will be shown in the map. So as you can see, there was some not here. So it's not really the address, it's just because of the phone number. Phone is, number. Is the yeah. area, then it points to the area. Yeah. Fun, phone number address, parcel number, you know, this is not geographical project, but in Turkey, so for example, in Turkish example, you can see the parcel numbers, the project dimensions, so plans, everything is there. So it really gives you like big picture of, uh, of your data. Or imagine that you are having like branches all, ar all around Bulgaria, and you are interested in, for example, what can, what, um, uh, city is making the biggest profit. So you can make a search, for example, all contracts more than 20,000 euro, let's say. Give me contracts 20,000 euro, and it will show you also through the location because I, in the I, don't document... want, I want to ask all the, my contacts on Black Sea, and I search for them during the summer. So I go the whole summer on yeah. the Black Sea, on the beach. Yeah. <laughs> yes, for sure. You can do that one as well. Uh, also, what else it shows you? It's like graphics, so correlations between yeah. documents, people. Um, so if you do some filtering, so for example, I think that it should be here. Yeah. So for example, this is the B plus uh, group type. So mm -hmm. he shows me here all of the people that have B positive. So imagine that you are working in the company who is collecting donations for blood mm -hmm. donations and you need B plus urgently and you type B plus and in content base, you already have all of the people who are having this uh, mm -hmm. blood type and you can contact them and ask to donate their blood. It is just an example that came to my mind now. Mm -hmm. uh, no, it, it's very good. It could be life saving. Uh, yeah, I mean, for sure. You know, uh, always, I mean, I don't know, are, are you dealing with it, but uh, on social media, we are seeing like we are searching yes. for R plus positive or something like that. So if you work in the um, red crescent, this would be something that could save a lot of people's lives. Also for hospitals, for like for uh, sure. organs donations and such things. So if somebody, then it's it's very critical to find yeah. to quickly, very quickly. Of course, a couple of milliseconds, you know. Mm. Nice. Same goes for the calendar. So it shows you all of the um, dates that are related to this document. So, for example, if I'm wondering about 12th April, down I can see all of the documents that are related to this document. So, how, for example, uh, lawyers are using this. And they came today to the job, they opened the GOD, they pressed to the, let's say, 1st of December. Huh, today I have this document due to, I need to go on court and this time. So it's like personal agenda for them. So. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so if you take any notes on the document, it can spare here. If you classify your document, it will show you here. And discovery report, as I mentioned already in the beginning, it gives you a detail what a, what kind of document you are saving, what is the type of document, what are the sensitive information found in what data sources. We had a case that customer said, uh, there's no need to scan, scan document in this file server. There's no any sensitive information there. Mm -hmm. And we insisted because they included all of the data sources. We said, let us go also for that one. We should not disclose it. We went there and we found a bunch of uh, personal information there. This is That's what I, I realized that people, when somebody asked me to do something in database, they said, these five things, we don't use them. This is people's perception. Yeah. And when you go in, in fact, they use it. It's critical. You cannot just remove it. <laughs> For sure. For sure, that's why you know uh, it gives you nice 
um, insights, let's say. So now I would like to show you a few queries. So when I say uh, when I say sensitive data search, which means that no matter how you write your information, it will come up. So for example, if I would like to know all of the documents from January to December, 2020, I can write my search January, December, Jan, this, first, first, 31st, 12. I can write it in Bulgarian, in English, whatever language is included in the project. And it brings you the results. It brings you all of the days that are inside of this search. Uh, or I can search, for example, different money amounts. I have all of these search queries saved. That's why it's simple for me now. So I'm wondering about all of the documents that have a money amount between $2,000 and $15,000. Mm -hmm. So no matter how I write pound with a sign, with currency sign, with GBP, small, bigger letters on the beginning, at the end, no matter, it brings you. Same goes, for example, uh, I know that your name is Boyan, Bojdan, Boyman, you know, I'm not sure. So I know that boy is on the beginning. So I can make my search like boy and put a star and it will bring me all of the documents like Boyman, Boyan, Bojan. You know. uh, it, it will help you to, to you know, to you, you have some association, association but you, you are not aware of it. Or for example, you want to find all of the, the documents that are between 2000 and 15,000 and that also have IBAN number inside. So you choose IBAN number, you choose this query and it gives you just four documents because there are just two, there are just mm -hmm. four documents mm -hmm. that have this money amount and IBAN number. And there are so a lot, a lot be, of advanced all the invoices from customers, let's yeah. say, or something for, for, yeah, yeah, for sure. suppliers. So, yeah, it's it's really, I mean, amazing something that it, it's helping you. And there is no limit, you know. You can put, for example, have this one but doesn't have email or includes Boyan or disclude Boyan. So there is a lot, a lot of um, different possibilities, let's say. Mm -hmm. uh, Very interesting. So first, uh, we don't have to change the way we work. So we put the, the documents on as they are. To Geodi, uh, you say, okay, this date is stored here, 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 across the network on the cloud, like uh, SharePoint. Mm -hmm. Then it gives you a fastest, faster way to, to search information mm -hmm. without thinking did I put it in my folder in email? So um, I save it as an email in subfolder, or I kept only the, and then it gives you all this uh, insight. So you can really uh, mm -hmm. first find automatically, like historically mm -hmm. where it is, geographically, you don't have to think about it. It's coming mm -hmm. up from the system itself, correct? For sure, for sure. Everything is out of relationship. It's it's great. And these notes, what is these notes for to mm. make some mm. particular documents? Or so, for example, if I, I'm again saying so, if I'm searching for a computer engineer, for example, and mm. my human resource department collected some CVs, mm -hmm. so I'm a salesperson and I'm technical director, let's say, and this guy will be under my control. So I open this, for example, CV. I can preview it and then I read it and I decided I like this guy. So I take a note here, add a note and I notify my, who is she here now? Uh, so you notify a colleague that colleague, this yes. something that can be, so you, it's okay. And I write call her, and then my colleague is informed about this one, and we are making the process easy. You know, uh, I'm checking 10, uh, 10 CVs, writing the comment here. Or imagine that you are, for example, working on some tender application, mm -hmm. and there's hundreds of pages. So whoever makes some change, uh, it needs to like uh, zip the document, or it needs to send it via V transfer, or whatever it is. So you can assign yourself like uh, 
two of us are working on this project. I am writing you a note here that I know because this one should be changed or whatever. And you mm -hmm. are just the person who is applying my uh, comments and you make the final project instead of 10 times sending me documents, reviewing and yeah, everything. Sure, sure. And you are not here, you know, here I'm not changing anything. You are changing that in an original state. And then at the end of the day, because we have incremental scanning, at the end of the day, you schedule, for example, from 7 p.m. to 7 a.m. Uh, Judy goes to all new change documents and he just index that. Very nice, very nice. Yeah. But to ask somebody from the audience if uh, he has some questions or some to trigger some curiosity what Jody can do for you or any idea. Welcome to Constantine. I see joined recently on uh, uh, Chepo. Chepo, am I pronouncing correctly your name? No, maybe. Maybe no questions. Okay. Uh, so it, it, it's it's yeah, very... you're pronouncing it fine. It's fine. Ah, Tisibo. Ah, hey, Tisibo is our partner from South Africa. Sorry, I didn't know that you came. <laughs> yeah. Ah, okay. Hello, hello. Thank okay. you for joining us. To... Thank you. Okay. So it's it's a very amazing uh, solution. Uh, it's it, it makes the life of people easy. Mm -hmm. And also it protects your data. Uh, so people maybe if they miss, they can watch our uh, event that we had in the middle of the year mm -hmm. <laughs> to, yeah. to see what was the discovery yeah. and how it can help the companies to protect the information. So first uh, you need to, I see that uh, somebody else is joining uh, as well. Let's see. So everybody can just go click and uh, test what Geoli from, from your website to, to play how it is working, correct? Yeah, for sure. Uh, for sure. Uh, uh, we have opened this demo environment and uh, you can join it by your account, different accounts. Uh, what I uh, would like to suggest or uh, to advise you is uh, to check also our built-ins, uh, we have like uh, nice information over there. To visit our YouTube channel and of maybe, course to contact maybe, maybe us. Maybe you can share on the screen to show mm -hmm. where people to look. Uh, so, so on our website, you can go mm -hmm. uh, in a resources. There is blog or on bulletins. Yes. Okay. So there are different. For example, we we discussed today what is GeoD Network Graph. Mm -hmm. uh, that we mentioned there. So new opportunities, how the municipalities are using the GOD, uh, how it's helping them in the digitalization process, or for example, new built-ins. So um, CRM, how CRM, CRM yes. Enterprise search. <laughs> yes. uh, the biggest fan of CRM is Boyan, I believe. Of course. <laughs> You need uh, to hear Jody on to CRM, uh, any CRM. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So we have other solutions as well, such as face recognition, object recognition. We have mobile team management solutions. So we really have wide um, modules that can be used separately and in combination. Uh, so for more details, uh, I'm always open for the discussion mm -hmm. one to one. I have or... the last slide. I will not show it, but mm -hmm. uh, it shares uh, my email, your email as well. I, I will uh, stop sharing if you wish. Uh -huh. uh, no, it's it's okay. Uh, mm -hmm. Just a second. I share my screen. So this is. Um, this is practically the last slide. Uh, it's, it's on the other screen, surely. I will just move it. So this uh, PDF, uh, the, in, uh, it will be in PDF shared on the recording, so you can contact us. Uh, of course, you can go directly to our website or to Degia Software. Uh, mm -hmm. I will put also your website in the presentation. So. Mm -hmm. You can uh, you can check yourself and you can contact uh, me or uh, Nejla 
Uh, any questions uh, so far? Uh, do you find it interesting, uh, valuable? What is your opinion? Chavdar or Constantin, I see. I get late a little bit. Sorry about it. Yes, we have a recording. It will be published on the on this section under the uh, so you can watch it. Thank you. I'll watch it later. Okay. Okay. And thank, thank you for joining. It was very it's, helpful. Yes. And where, where are you from? From which company you are, Constantine? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. One of one more of our partners. You know, I collected. Uh, that's good. That's and, good. Uh, that's good. <laughs> hello, Constantin. How are you? I couldn't notice it. It's you. Hi. It's good. I'm glad to see you. Even I'm moment. glad to see you as well. <laughs> so this is uh, maybe I can stop uh, recording. We can mm -hmm. still uh, stay. Mm -hmm. And uh, how do I stop recording? Do you know? Believe me, I don't.